Well, the Vatican and the city of Rome are already preparing for an event that will not take place until 2025. For the Jubilee year of 2025, Rome is expecting to welcome millions of pilgrims, and the plans include a redeveloping of the area around the Vatican. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Roma si trasforma, Rome transforms. This is the motto the Eternal City has chosen to describe its ambitious renovation plans for the upcoming Jubilee year of 2025. On July 26th, Rome's mayor, Roberto Gualtieri, spoke to journalists about one of the biggest projects his administration is undertaking in the run-up to the Jubilee. A new pedestrian zone stretching from St. Peter's Square to Castel Sant'Angelo, including the famous Via della Conciliazione. The city is investing close to 80 million US dollars to build an underpass for the heavy traffic between the castle and the basilica. It is realistic. Uh, we will uh, conclude the works uh, for December 24 in time for the Jubilee. And to give back uh, to the city and to the world, I think uh, one of the most beautiful uh, square uh, of all times, uh, double square, which will be not anymore crossed by cars, but we will uh, reconjunct together Castel Sant'Angelo and San Peter the Vatican. The mayor met with Pope Francis at the beginning of the year to present the plans for city renovations, new tourism and cultural projects, as well as solutions to issues of heavy traffic. Altogether, there are almost 90 larger projects planned, which will cost as much as 2 billion US dollars. Mayor Roberto Qualcieri emphasized back then that all of these plans should be in line with the message of hope, universal brotherhood and trust, which Pope Francis placed at the center of the Jubilee. Rome is expecting at least 10 million pilgrims in addition to the usual stream of tourists, which is already at an all-time high. Because of this massive number of travelers, some observers have raised concerns that the Roman infrastructure might collapse. The organizers do not see any reason for such fears. Archbishop Rino Fisichella, who is responsible for organizing the Jubilee for the Vatican, also participated in the city's press conference. He restated his invitation to all to become pilgrims of hope and to come to the eternal city. Only recently, the Archbishop opened an info center for pilgrims on the Via della Conciliazione, the road leading to St. Peter's Square. The center will provide information about the Jubilee for individuals and groups. It will also help with the registration process to access the holy door of St. Peter's Basilica. This door is only open in the Jubilee years and those who step through it can receive a special plenary indulgence. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Nightly.